as probably the three top riders in the world right now get set to do some battle. Hamilton is on the water. Tara Hamilton wants the winningest wakeboarder until Dallas Friday came along in the women's division. Only wakeboarder, by the way, man or woman to ever compete at every X Games. Now, when you think back, it was 1996, and we started hearing about this young phenom out of Lantana, Florida, Tara Hamilton. She'd never ridden a pro contest yet. One of the greats of the sports, Darren Shapiro, was giving his endorsement as she's going to be one of the greatest ever. Well, in almost the eight years since, she's proven that, and she virtually can do anything. You see her right there sliding across our fun box out front. Now, look, Doug. She's a toe side approach. She's wrapped up. She's going to invert the board and do a backside half a spin. The toe side back roll to backside 180, wrapped up, but unfortunately she dropped the handle. So Hamilton down toward the end of the first pass. We'll explain what happens in a second. Here she's in. Watch. She's approaching from the toe side. Up. She releases with that front handle. It looks like she had it, but her weight was on that heel. The heel edge kept her cutting out left. A lot of pressure on the line, and she was unable to hold on. Look, look, the heels, the heels, and she just can't hold on. The pressure is just instantaneously intense. Hamilton is down on that, but she did have a good first three quarters of the pass, JB. And you see her going up and over that fun box. We've hit it all day, Doug. There's points all over this course, not just based on your weight points, but interacting with our rails as well. She did it right there on our fun box. From high above, you can see the two orange buoys down there. That defines the end of the course. So once she gets up, she won't have time to throw any tricks here down at the back end of the course. But pass number two still to come for Tara Hamilton. You have joined us and the throngs of hundreds along the beach here at Long Beach Marine Stadium for the Women's Wakeboard Final. And the big story here today, Dallas Friday. She will ride last in our field of four. She is going for three golds in a row. The woman on the water right now, Tara Hamilton, is going for her third gold medal since beginning competition at the X. And moves like that are what has brought her to prominence and greatness. A relatively easy move called the Scarecrow, but she goes so big and then answers back with the air really. Few women throw that move. There is a high level of edge commitment. Tara, not afraid to go out there and charge it full bore. Bypasses the fun box. Sliders, 25% of each rider's score. Wow, now there's the front flip. Another move that you're not going to see in the women's category that frequently. She got out the back, but still had to handle it tight, and she gets it done. Stands up pass number two. She'll definitely be stoked on that, Doug. So pass two, a good one for Tara Hamilton out of Lantana Ford, the 23-year-old, pretty stoked with that. Take a look at this, extending that board up above her. It's called the air rally, or it's like an inverted handstand. That is committing. Look at that edge, the deflection on the water. This is the front flip. She gets a little bit behind, but it's all about the handle control. She's got it at her waist. She's looking good. Another view of that air rally. No move. Are you going to be going any faster than that? High level of commitment, high level of reward. Remember, Megan Major went first in this field of four. Hamilton, the second rider to go. Megan Major's... 45 points in first place until we find out what Hamilton did. Live coverage, X Games 11. This is the women's wakeboard final. Congratulations again to Danny Harf just a bit ago. Danny Harf threw down through the 900 on his double up. And that's... That's what sealed the deal, it seemed, for Danny Harf between he and Philip Sovin. And now, in the women's wakeboard final, it's like Tara Hamilton is going to throw down on the way in for the crowd. And Doug, check it out. She is wrapped up. She is going to go for an inverted mode or an inverted 360. It's called the KGB. Watch as she edges in. She's going to invert and bring that board around. Oh, oh my. Well, she wanted the three. She got about 240 and change before she splashed back down. Dallas Friday loosening up, looking for the three-peat, and she watched Tara Hamilton. Missed the handle about halfway through the rotation, looked like, JB. Yeah, but talk about going for it. Normally, this is a wake-to-wake -wake move, but she wanted to take it big. Look, that board is about 13 feet on up. She got the first 180 degrees of rotation done, but she lost contact with everything. The spinning stopped. Here it is. Look, she inverts, releases that handle. There's 180, but she just couldn't bring it the rest of the way around. She lost that line tension. It was done before she got back to the water surface. Tara Hamilton. 
Needs 4501. That's Megan Majors mark at 45. 01 would get her to win or to beat, and uh, that moves her to first place right now. So Terry Hamilton, no huge surprise.